So as we know that the One UI 6.1.1 update is now out on many other devices and this update brings in some new Galaxy AI features. So today in this video we will check out those features and if you have not updated on this update so you can check out this update by going into settings and then selecting software update. From here you will have to select the download and install and from here you will get to see the new update. I have already updated my device on the latest One UI 6.1.1. This update brings in some brand new Galaxy AI features along with the 1st September 2024 security patch. So the first feature on the list is the sketch to image. This is one of the most anticipated feature of this update in which you just have to draw a sketch of an object and that object will be converted into an image using AI. As you can see over here, I am drawing a random sketch and then you can select in between 3D cartoon, watercolor, illustration, sketch or pop art. Then you just have to click on generate. And after clicking on generate, you will have to wait for a while and then your sketch will be converted into an image using the AI as you can see over here. That random sketch is now converted into an awesome looking image. There are multiple options to choose from in between 3D cartoon, sketch or watercolor. You can choose from them. Now let's move on to the next feature. So the next feature is in the gallery app. You will have to select this photo assist option. Then you have to select your photo in which your face is visible. For then you have to select this portrait studio. After selecting portrait studio, you will have to select in between comic, 3D cartoon or watercolor and using these you can create unique portraits of your image this also includes some options like comic 3d cartoon watercolor or sketch you can select in between them and then you can save directly from here by clicking on save copy now let's move on to the next feature that is in the notespad app for that you just have to click on this plus icon also known as insert then you have to click on voice recording and then you will have to allow the permission for the mic now whatever you will speak that can be converted into text by simply clicking on these three dots over in the top right corner after clicking on these three dots you will have to click on this icon and then a transcript will be available that you can copy and paste in your notes or anywhere else or you can also create a summary if your characters are above 200 now let's move on to the next feature that is in the keyboard on the keyboard after clicking on this Galaxy AI icon you will have to click on composer and from here you can ask it to write anything also you can select in between standard email comment or email or social media or you can also select between casual professional or polite after making your selection you just have to click on generate and your text will be generated after waiting for a while as you can see over here the text is now generated now you do not need to have another app of chat gpt you can perform that task directly from here on your keyboard app now let's move on to the next feature that is in the pdfs now you can summarize or translate your pdfs using galaxy ai as you can see over here i have a pdf over here from here you will have to click on this galaxy ai icon and then you have to click on summarize or translate whatever you want i want to summarize this so i will click on summarize and then i will click on select maximum then you just have to click on generate summary you can also manually select the test you want to summarize and as you can see over here the summary of this pdf is now available that you can add to a new note or you can copy it directly from here you can now also translate your pdfs like this so this is a really cool AI feature by which you can create summary of your PDFs if you want to quickly read them. So these were some of the Galaxy AI features that you should must try out and if you are facing some battery drain issues after the One UI 6.1.1 update so I have made a video for that by which you can try out to fix that. The link will be mentioned for that in the description and if you are new around this channel make sure to like and subscribe as I will keep you updated with the new updates.